The main dining room on a Royal Caribbean cruise is a super popular option for dinner every night of your cruise. And so today, I've got the top tips. If you're going to be dining in the main dining room, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RealCaribbeanBlog.com. I love the main dining room. There's something about it, the pomp and circumstance, the tradition of going to the dining room. It's an institution of cruising. And it's also likely somewhere you're going to be visiting most nights of your cruise and not every night of your cruise. It's hard to deny the fun experience of dining there as well as the really tasty food. And on the other week, we did a video about some of the rules you should know about in the main dining room. So I thought it might be a good idea to also talk about some tips. And I've got like 11 or 12, I lost count already, of how many dining room tips I want to share with you if you're eating the main dining room. Now, the main dining room offers meals including your cruise fare with an ever so faint hint of formality. Each evening, there are many courses of dishes to try from appetizers to entrees to desserts and everything in between. So if you want to make sure your main dining room experience is the best, here are my top tips. Number one, feel free and not only feel free, you should order more than one of anything. When you dine in the dining room, Pretty much everything on the menu is included, and that means you should feel free to order more than just one entree or appetizer, or even order multiples of your favorite dish. Royal Caribbean allows and encourages its guests to order as much food as they want when dining in the dining room. The policy allows you to order not just the dishes that you love, but also branch out and try something different. It's the same price, so there's nothing to lose. Number two, make dietary requests before you board. If you have a dietary restriction, such as if you're a vegetarian, need gluten-free foods, or any other dietary needs, then you'll want to let Royal Caribbean know about them up front. Royal Caribbean can accommodate dietary needs such as food allergies, gluten-free, kosher, low-fat, and low-sodium. In addition, vegetarian meals, including Indian-style vegetarian, are available on all menus in the dining room. You don't have to do actually anything in advance. You can just tell them when you get there at the restaurant. For lactose-free, soy milk, Ensure, and kosher meals, you can get those at no additional charge. All you have to do is notify Royal Caribbean at least 45 days prior to sailing or 90 days for European and South American itineraries. All you're going to need to do is use the guest special needs form, and you can get to this form by simply Googling Royal Caribbean special needs form. You'll find it, I almost guarantee you. If not, post it in the comments below, and we'll be sure to link to it. And fill it out about 30 days prior to your sailing. So that way, you'll be all set when you get on board your ship. Number three, you can change your table assignment. If you get on board the ship and realize the table layout is not what you prefer, or perhaps the other guests that you're seated with are not a good mix for you, there's usually an opportunity to change your table. If something's not quite to your liking, speak to the head waiter at any point in your cruise to arrange for a table change. If you prefer to dine alone, you can also email Royal Caribbean your table request on an email about three to four weeks prior to your sailing to rcldining at rccl.com. Again, include your name, your ship date, your sail date, reservation number, and they're usually good about accommodating that. That leads me into my next tip, which is check your table assignment on our vacation day. This applies to traditional dining. If you have my time, this is not a problem, but you'll be assigned a table in the main dining room. And when you get on board the cruise, you can scope it out. The table number and dining room is noted at the bottom of your seat pass card, but you're going to want to go down there and check it out because on our vacation day, it's a really good idea to go see where your table is located and what size table you have been assigned. If the location is not your sugar liking, or perhaps you're seated at a table larger than your party, which likely means you'll be seated with other people that you don't know, you can always speak to the head waiter on duty and request a change. The head waiter will do their best to accommodate you, but I've usually had pretty good flexibility with getting a change made. Next up, you can bring your own wine on board. Did you know that Royal Caribbean allows people to bring their own wine on board the ship. That's right. You can bring up to two bottles of wine per stateroom on board your cruise. And you must do that on embarkation day. Now, a good idea is to bring that wine to the main dining room and your waiter will be happy to open it and serve it to you. Now, keep in mind, they may charge you a small corkage fee. In my experience, the corkage fee is rarely enforced, but you should be aware that theoretically you could be charged a $15 corkage fee per bottle of wine consumed because you're doing it in a public area. But in my opinion, it's worth it because you're bringing about a wine that you probably did not pay retail for. You got a good deal on it. So, hey, that's even better. This would be a great way to not only save money on wine, but also ensure you're drinking exactly the bottle of wine that you love the most. Number six on my list is order the food the way you want it. Don't be afraid to ask your waiter for special requests that are not of the dietary need variety, but just something you really love. Perhaps you like having a plate of vegetables to start your dinner off with or anything else that's not on the menu. Talk to your head waiter to make the request. If the ship has the ingredients on board to make it, odds are they'll be happy to make it for you. In general, you're going to want to give them a 24-hour heads-up notice so that the chefs can prepare it for you and have it ready for your meal. 
In addition, if tonight's menu features an ingredient you don't enjoy or can't eat for whatever reason, feel free to talk to your waiter if they can make a dish without it. The dining room staff are looking to make your main dining room experience as good as possible. Number seven, bring back extras to your room. If there's something on the menu that you just can't finish, but you know you might want to have it later, well, then your main dining room waits out are happy to wrap it up to bring it to go. Now, what they're going to do is just put it in a plate, give it a cover, and you can bring it back to your room. Sometimes making dinner on time is not in the cards, but your waiter can arrange to have some of all your food prepared to bring up to your room to enjoy later on. Like so many of these tips, it's really important to simply ask, and they usually are pretty accommodating about that. Number eight, we're talking about the dinner in the main dining room, but don't skip main dining room for lunch and breakfast too. Most days, the main dining room is open for breakfast in a first come, first serve style, no reservations required. And on C days, while the main dining room is also open for lunch, and the best part is the lunch menu is different than the dinner menu. So definitely check it out. It's free, it's easy to get to, and often overlooked. I love it for C days especially because it's a much more relaxing experience than the buffet upstairs. Number nine, make my time dining reservations before you board. If you did my time dining, in which you have more flexibility in the time and the table mates you dine with on your Royal Caribbean cruise, well, do yourself a favor and make reservations early before your cruise. That way, you have it all set to go. While you can make my time dining reservations during your cruise, for optimal availability, your best bet is to make reservations as soon as you can. The peak dining times of 6.30 p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. in the main dining room are always busy. So you're going to want to make sure you have reservations before you get on board to avoid waiting for a table. In fact, the larger your group, the more important my time dining reservations are. Number 10, definitely pack for formal night. Depending on the length of your cruise, Royal Caribbean can have one or more formal nights in the main dining room. Sometimes they call it dress your best, the same thing. But you want to make sure you have the right clothes for the occasion. Despite the name formal night, don't worry, it's not nearly as dressed up as you might think. Royal Caribbean describes formal night as ladies wearing something like a cocktail dress or pantsuit, while men should wear a suit tie optional. In practice, though, the dress code's a lot more relaxed than that. Even for formal night, men can simply wear khakis or dress pants and a collared shirt. For women, nice dress, blouse, romper, appropriate bottom, it's all good there. The key is you want to be aware of formal nights that they are there and to pack appropriately for them the way that you see fit. And my last main dining room tip is to enjoy the overall experience. Whether you're dining with strangers, twirling your napkins, or jumping into a conga line, these are just some of the fun things that can happen in the main dining room meal in a real Caribbean. And let's face it, they're not going to be the things that you're going to be necessarily doing at dinner at home, but it's best to drop your inhibitions and embrace it while you're there. The antics of the main dining room will vary from ship to ship, but instead of raising an eyebrow about these sort of experiences, let loose a bit and go for it. Remember, you're on vacation, and very likely, you're never going to see these people ever again. Plus, it's way more fun when you're part of the experience than not. All right, so your turn. What are your top tips for dining on Royal Caribbean? Let me know in the comments below this video. What are the best tips you have for the dining room to enhance and make that experience even better? Can't wait to check those out. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.